Okay, I wanted to make a somewhat of a quick video just to let some people know a little function I found in Bluebeam that I thought was very handy. Uh, one of the things that we're doing on this project is we're tracking fire smoke dampers and we're assigning them individual numbers. So if you'll take a look here that I've got individual numbers. When I started this project, I thought, hey, this would be a great time to use one of the sequences. Uh, just grab one of these and I got a uh, damper here, 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 and here and then it would number them for me automatically. I thought that was great. We had well over a hundred of these fire smoke dampers in the project. Finished it up, uh, generated a report. Uh, down here you'll see a little bit, I'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, exported it out uh, into Excel Was and everything was looking fine. Uh, and here's the actual version. I typed all of this stuff in. Uh, what we were looking at was there's a fire smoke damper, um, the number that it was assigned, it's a fire smoke damper or it's a smoke damper, what level or area it was on, and then the written location of where it is in the hospital itself. What air handling number that it is on, is it 1-8 or is it 1-7, uh, the circuit number that it's on, the fire alarm relay number, uh, the fire alarm was it activated or not you know, for a test or whatnot, and any comments. So type that in for well over a hundred of these using the sequential. Well, when we went out into the field and checked everything, lo and behold, uh, some of the guys said, well, that's not the way the numbers are out there on the units themselves. Uh, this one's here, that one's there. And so uh, we had to start moving a bunch of my numbers around on the drawing, much less. Uh, they said, well, you need to insert a number here or there. That was not working out well with the sequential you can uh, get rid of a number and it will renumber it so notice that the four changed to a three but you can't really insert numbers and so oh man I had to start all over so what I did was I just got rid of all that information there got rid of all those made a new little group uh, a little bit smaller so it was a little easier and then I had to do it all over again uh, I still had my custom columns that I had but now that information that we had, damper location, air handlers, it was all gone. I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to type all of this in again. One thing that I did find out on this that I thought was worth sharing was when I took a look at this, for example, uh, there is a lot of repeat in this. Uh, for example, number 15 and number 16 have the same description. So what I thought, well, maybe I can do this. Copy it. Hit control C, come back to my drawing, I go find it. Oh, there's a lot of scrolling. If you know anything about how the filters work, these work great. I know what filters this is on, and it's on the fire smoke damper. So I'm reduced to that, and I'm going this uh, way sequentially. So, oops, let's go this way, find number 15, and then double click in the cell, control V, there it is again. And then number 16, control V. Uh, there it is again. I was like, man, I'm going to have to do that for every single one. I wonder if there's a way that I can do multiple ones at once. For example, here's numbers 17, 18, 19, and 20. All have the exact same. Am I going to have to click into that four times and do that? So highlight it, click Control C, jump back here, scroll down to number 17, hit Control 18, 19, and 20. It's like, am I going to have to do it? And it won't let me. Every time I click in it, it won't let me do it. Ah, oh, man, this is going to be horrible. And then I realized I did a little searching on the internet, and someone else had a little thing in here that mentioned this. Went over here, took a look at it, Control V, hit Enter. They all pop in at once. Thought that was a great tip that was worth sharing. Hope it helped you.